and uh, right there you just saw an accident or almost an accident I think they may have hit something that was crazy Yeah, did he hit you? He didn't hit nothing though, right? <clears throat> oh, we heard it, or I heard it. <laughs> he didn't hit nothing. He just went out of control. Cop's gonna have to go check it out. Looks like they're gonna try to maybe leave. I don't know. Should we go down there? Let's go down there. See what happened. So once again, folks, it's an exciting morning out here. Not, not exactly sure what happened here. But this car definitely went out of control here. And uh, it's not blocking the highway. Well, a little bit, I guess, he's blocking the highway. We'll find out what happened over here. That was crazy. Well, we were on scene there at the... River Rap Motorsports there where someone broke in, broke the window, front windows out again. Uh, when we, I don't know if you guys heard the skid marks from this vehicle here, but it was pretty loud. I don't know what's up with this driver. We'll find out here. Definitely spun out of control here. Good thing they didn't hit anybody. That just looks like one female, one female driver. It's looking for the skid marks, but yeah, I got real lucky and didn't hit anything. Was anybody uh, watching when that happened? Did you guys hear the skid marks? Sorry about that. Yeah, we're not sure how, how uh, she went out of control like that, but all I heard was skid marks. But like I said, she didn't hit anything. No damage to the vehicle, it doesn't look like. It just, she spun out of control in the middle of the road. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, once again, I'm on scene here. Uh, 6th Street and Highway 95 at River Rap Motorsports was broke into. 
this morning. They did catch the suspect. He's in custody. We'll go back down there. Um, while I was filming over there this morning, this vehicle right here spun out of control in the middle of the road. Um, there was no other vehicles involved. Uh, doesn't look like she hit anything, just a spin out in the middle of the road. Bullhead City Police Department on scene here questioning the female driver. So uh, we'll come back to this scene here. It looks like uh, the, they're going to have to question her. I'm not sure if she's um, intoxicated or if this was just an accident. I don't know, guys. Um, but they are. Uh, Bullet City Police Department is questioning her. So we'll come back to that. I want to get back over to River Rat Motorsports and show you guys the damage to the building once again. And like I said, there is a suspect in custody. They are on scene. This just happened here just with, within the hour. So we'll get back down here, take a look at uh, the window. The last time this place got broke into, they stole a, a dirt bike and they actually uh, got away with it. And they actually did that the exact same way it was done here again tonight by breaking the window out. So let's get back down here and we'll show you guys the the damage to River Rap Motorsports once again. Yeah, crazy morning, huh? Sun's just now coming up, so. Hey boss, pretty good yourself? Always exciting out here. <laughs> so we'll get over here and show you guys the damage. I believe the suspect's still in the police car here. You can see the damage to the building once again. Doesn't look like they were able to steal anything this time. I don't believe. So it looks like police got here just in time. Um, to catch the guy, so. I didn't get here early enough to get a video of him, but I believe he's still in the Yeah, there he is right there. Thank you. So you did get to see him. So the last time this place was broke into, it was this window right here. Where it's a little darker window. So that guy's in custody. He's going to jail. And we got a video of him. So again, guys, if you're just joining us here, we're at the uh, 1000 block of Highway 95 at River Rap Motorsports. Once again, 
Someone shattered the front windows here to get in. They're going to have to put some bars on here or something. People keep uh, breaking their windows out. This happened, oh, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. This same exact thing happened, only that time uh, a suspect, which I don't think they ever caught, um, got away with a dirt bike, stole one of the KTMs back out there in a helmet and was able to get the bike uh, out of here without the police catching them. This time, though, the suspect is in custody. You guys saw a video. If you didn't, uh, you'll be able to rewind this and see that. And it doesn't look like this thief got away with anything this time, so they caught him red-handed. So that's a good thing. We're going to go back down to the accident scene and see what happened with this uh, young lady that was uh, involved in a, not really an accident, like a spin-out, I guess you could call it. Let's go check out what's going on down here. Looks like she might be getting checked for a DUI though. Yep, definitely looks like she's getting checked for a DUI here this morning. Never a dull moment here. I just happened to be on scene when I heard the skid marks of this vehicle out of control. I turned around, it was completely sideways, still sliding. I didn't get it on video. I was kind of just looking out over behind my back to make sure I wasn't gonna get hit. But yeah, it looks like they got her out of the vehicle here. And they're giving her a DUI check here, so. Yeah, hopefully she's not intoxicated because that uh that won't be good for her. So here's the vehicle here that spun out of control. And like I said, it didn't hit anything, but uh, she came to a stop right there and uh, just came to a stop. Yeah, she was heading northbound on Highway 95, so I don't know. She's got to be cold, though. It's freezing out here. And she doesn't have a jacket on. Yep, she's going to jail.
Yeah, it looks like she was intoxicated, so. So they're going to have to get a tow truck to get her vehicle off the highway now. All right. Well, you guys saw it live right there. Pretty sure on the video, you'll be able to hear those skid marks um, when you rewind this video from the start here. from that Ford vehicle right there. She didn't hit anything, but she just came to a stop here. I thought they were gonna take off, but she just sat there and waited for police. It was almost like she wanted to get in trouble. I don't know, it was weird. But uh, yeah, once again, this is uh, right in front of Wet n Wild here. a little bit north of Circle K. So yeah, th there you guys have it. Your updated information here all on Bullhead Laughlin News Live in this morning. Crazy, crazy out here. All right, guys, that's going to be all the info I have for you with these two situations that happened. The River Rap Motorsports being broke into this morning, suspect in custody. You guys got to see a video. The officer opened the door. Luckily, I got a, I was right there, so I got a video of him. We just saw this young lady go, uh, go in for DUI. Never a dull moment. So, yeah, I was way down here when this crash happened. It was like all I heard was skid marks, and I saw the car completely sideways. And uh, came to a stop right there, so. Crazy. I'll give you guys one last view of River Rap Motorsports before I shut down the broadcast here. Those of you who came in late may not have seen it yet, so we'll go over here one more time. Show you the broken out glass. Looks like the store, store owners are here once again. They were here last time when the motorcycle was stolen. Police already did their investigation here and uh, the store owners are actually cleaning up so they can, uh, they're gonna have to board up this window now. So, so here you guys have it. River Rap Motorsports, 1000 block highway 95 feel bad for the owners it's the second time this happened to him so all right guys that's going to be all the information i have for you guys on these two scenes this morning thanks for joining me i'm jeff argondo reporting for bullhead laughlin news live